It is four to four in the last of the seventh inning. Armando Benitez, the young, hard throwing right hander, one of the Orioles' heroes in game two, comes on in an even tighter spot here in game three. Bases loaded, nobody out, and Albert Bell at the plate. He came on to face Bell in a big spot Wednesday and walked him. And Franco, the bases loaded, hit the sacrifice fly. Anderson with a nice catch to tie the ball game, but he struck out Ramirez. And Sandy Alomar popped out to end the inning. He does not have the luxury of walking Albert Bell this time. The bases are already loaded, and the game is already tied. Lofton at third base, Seltzer at second base, Kandel at first base. The league's leading RBI man with the bases loaded and nobody out. It's tied up. There's nowhere to hide. Davey Johnson took his right hand to Messina out after he had retired seven in a row. Four of them on strikeouts. And then Jesse Orozco walked everybody he faced. Fastball foul back, and our judge gun measured that one. 98 miles per hour. Well, Benita is another one of them guys. You'll have to meet him halfway. He'll come and get you. So it's a tough situation. Like you said, he's got no place to put this guy. Uh, if you're a baseball fan anywhere, this is the situation you want to be in. The wind has been blowing in hard from right field throughout the game. Knocking balls down at the center field. Strike two. Man. Orioles playing a double play depth in the middle of the diamond. They're going to trade two for a run right here. And right now, Benita is trying to get a strikeout. He needs one bad right here. A little old country hardball on those first two pitches. I, can, I can't see him throwing anything else but that. He hasn't caught up to it so far. Well, that was not 72 miles an hour, I'll tell you that. It was so fast it caused our radar gun to have a blip. <laughs> Two strikes to Albert Bell. With the bases loaded and nobody out. It is four to four. The Cleveland Indians trying to stay alive in this series. And here's their best shot. One and two. Well, so far, Mike Hargrove has made all the right moves. I mean, he left. Went to his bullpen after McDowell had retired eight in a row. The bullpen got it done. He pinched it for his 38 home run man. That worked beautifully. And now he's got the one man in his lineup that everybody in baseball would want to have up with the game on the line and the bases loaded. Albert Bell. 